Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Excel Basics in 30 Minutes, which you can find at in30minutes.com. And today I'm going to be talking about how to convert an Excel spreadsheet into something that you can open on Google Sheets, which is the uh, spreadsheets program on Google Drive. And a common scenario might be that you've made this spreadsheet on your desktop and now you want to share it with some colleagues using Google Drive because in Google Drive you can have all these collaboration and online publishing options. But anyways, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to do it and then talk about some of the drawbacks of doing that. So here we have a royalty report. This is an actual royalty report. As you can see, there's some formatting on it. Um, big title here. There's some uh, blue background on these cells here. And then I've bolded some of the figures down here. And I want to bring this into Google Drive. So let's open up Google Drive so I can read it in Sheets. So I'm going to put it in this folder on my uh, Google Drive account. It's Excel Basics in 30 Minutes folder. And the way that you upload it, there's a couple ways, but the way that I usually do it is just, I use this red button, and if you hover over it, you'll see it says Upload. So click on that. It'll give you the option of uploading a file or folder. Select File, and then you find your, your, uh, your Excel file. So this is a Microsoft uh, Excel XLSX file. So it's a relatively recent file format. It works the same if it's XLSX or uh, XLS, which is an older Microsoft Excel format. So anyways, you select it, click open, and then um, it's going to say, is it, you're uploading it to a share folder. You, is that okay to do that? And in this case it is, because this is a folder that I'm sharing with some colleagues. And it will show that the it's uploading and converting. This is a relatively small file, so it happened pretty quickly. And the other thing that's important to note is that it converted it automatically. Uh, in a minute, I'll show you how to convert something that's uh, that hasn't that hasn't already been converted from Microsoft Excel. But what this means is that when it uploaded this file, it at the same time it made it a Google Sheets format, so you can start using it right away. So here it is. Um, you can see that they took away the X, XLS X uh, extension at the end of the file. But the other thing is you can open it right now. So I'm going to open it, take a look at it. Let's compare. So here is the Google Sheets version of the same of the same uh, Excel spreadsheet and as you can see it preserved most of the formatting um, this the fonts big we have the blue background and we have the figures here and then also now you can take advantage of all the Google Drive options which are really good and they include things like sharing it with other people um, you can you can you can download it as a PDF or as a text file so there's all these great things that you can do once it's a Google Sheets format. And then, of course, you can collaborate as well, which I describe in the book. Uh, but, however, there are a few drawbacks to doing this. And one is that if any of these cells in the, in the Microsoft Excel version, let's take a look at that. If this, For instance, if this was referencing a value that was in another Excel spreadsheet, when I if if I imported that into Google Sheets or Google Drive, it wouldn't it would be a broken uh, a broken cell. And then the other thing that happens is sometimes there's some formatting changes, and I'll show you what I mean. So here's a modified version of the same sheet, and what I've done is I've just create this is in Excel, and what I've done is I've created a a simple pie chart, and you can see it's formatted in a couple ways. It's basically just taking these two figures and turning it into a pie chart, which is a pretty common thing to do in Excel. So let's see what happens when we import that into Google Drive. So I'm going to go back and get out of this one. And then I'm going to upload another one. Files. And let's see where it is. Here it is. This is the one with the chart on it. So again, it's going to upload it and share. It's going to convert it automatically. It's finishing. It says converted. Let's get rid of that box there. And let's open it and see what happened. It's taking a while, but the chart will show up. So it's bringing up all the data, which is pretty easy to do. And now you can see it's it's churning over that chart, and it's generating it. And here it is. And one thing you'll notice right away is it doesn't look exactly the same. So here's the original. You can see the color's different. Uh, the shading actually looks a lot better in Excel. And that's one, that's one thing I have to say about Excel. The formatting options are vastly superior to Google Sheets. Uh, and then also you can see that so the colors are different, the font size is different. So if you had a complicated chart in Excel, uh, this is not a complicated one, but you know one that had a lot of artwork and effort put into it, and you try to bring it into Google Sheets, it's not going to look as good. That's the bottom line. However, for basic stuff, it's perfectly fine. I do it all the time, and it really makes it a, a very easy to deal with with uh, Google 
with Google Sheets and with uh, Google Excel and transferring things back and forth. One last thing to show you, if you already have an Excel file that's been imported into Google, Sh into Google Sheets but hasn't been converted, uh, when you open it up, you'll be able just to view it like this. So this is just viewing the, the Excel file, kind of like an image file. And you can print it and do a couple other things. But if you want to open it as Google in, a, in Google Drive, you can do that too. Now note, however, this is not converted. This is going to be the original Excel file. You can see it even has the, uh, the extension there. But you can't do anything with it. You can just print it basically and zoom in, but you can't modify it. You can't edit it. For, you know, except for adding a comment. If you want to convert it, go to File, Open with Google Sheets, and it will convert it for you, preserving most of the formatting. So there we go. And anyways, if you're interested in learning more about Excel Basics and Google Spreadsheets, I cover both topics in my book, Excel Basics in 30 Minutes. Again, you can get that on in30minutes.com. Uh, there's lots more videos and other helpful tips on the website, which are free. But if you want to download the book or buy the book, it's pretty cheap. It's less than $10. So come to in30minutes.com and hope to see you soon. Thank you.